Hello and welcome to the Thursday, August 24th, 2023 edition of the Sands and its Storm Center's Stormcast. My name is Johannes Ulrich and today I'm recording from Jacksonville, Florida. Excel continues to remain one of the favorite targets of attackers and attackers as well uh, find new ways uh, to evade some simple filters and deliver macro Latin documents uh, to end users. The latest example here is something Xavier came across. It's an XLAM file. This is a macro enabled add-in for Excel. The icon looks sort of somewhat like the normal Excel macro. There are legitimate add-ins that are often being used, like the solver add-in, for example, or the analysis uh, tool pack. They are usually pre-installed or a quick sort of uh, install in Excel. But uh, this new add-in now, well, it does execute code in the form of old-style macros. In this particular example, it then actually uses the good old equation editor uh, trick that's a uh, vulnerability back from 2017 to download additional malware in the form of a visual a basic script. So overall, nothing really terribly uh, sophisticated here, probably just uh, going after users that have nothing to defend them, but some simple rules that block certain extensions. If you are one of those users, well, you now got one more extension to add to the list, XLAM. And while we're talking about Excel, Microsoft also announced that it will start supporting Python in Excel. So finally, we get a real nice scripting language for all of these attacks. And then we have more bad news for users of WinRAR, the popular Windows compression software. Group IB is reporting that they have seen active exploitation of a zero-day vulnerability in WinRAR. Exploitation goes back till April 2023. This vulnerability has now been fixed. It's CVE 2023-38831. Don't mistake it with the other WinRAR vulnerability that was addressed, I believe it was last week. To trigger exploitation of the vulnerability, a victim has to open a malicious zip file using WinRAR. Now, in the exploits being observed, the archive may be masquerading as a JPEG or a text file. There's also a number of other file formats that could be used in order to make the victim feel safe. Typically, you don't associate exploits with JPEGs or simple plain text files. Group IV did observe a use of the exploit in forums that were specializing on stock traders. The zip file was then posted to the forum and once executed, the malware would take control over the stock traders uh, PC and then train their accounts. There are a number of different remote access tools that Group IB has observed being used, Dark Me, Guloader, Remco's Rat, nothing really all that sort of out of the ordinary necessarily. And it appears that there are still 130 infected devices out there just from this one group. So absolutely make sure, update WinRAR, get your latest and greatest version. The latest version that fixes this particular uh, bug was released on August 2nd and is version 6.2.3. Aruba released updates for its uh, networking products. A couple vulnerabilities that kind of stick out here. One affects uh, the SD-WAN orchestrator, the web-based management interface, and there is an unauthenticated remote code execution vulnerability here. There are some unspecified dependencies, which is why they say they only assign it a CVS score of 8.1, certainly something that you should apply quickly. There is also a workaround available. That's CVE 2023-37424. The other one that's sort of interesting is a shared SSH static host key in Edge Connect. Now, the host key is not what's being used to authenticate, but it's the one that, uh, well, tells you that you're connecting to the correct server. So uh, this could potentially be used to impersonate an Edge Connect SD-WAN orchestrator as being like legitimate and uh, maybe possibly steal passwords. Certainly sort of a less likely attack, uh, but something that you should be aware of 
And uh, to fix this, really, you just need to delete the old host key and create a new host key, which will happen automatically as you restart the SH daemon on the system. Well, and that's it for today. So thanks for listening and talk to you again tomorrow. Bye.